we've seen it in other crops, and we thought it would translate over to turf, but we weren't sure. Uh, and so what we did see was more branching, um, more branching equals better water absorption, better nutrient uptake for the plant. We also saw an increase in biomass of the root zone, or of the roots, and then finally we also saw more total volume of the roots as well. The added value of having a, a more branched root system, more secondary roots, is obviously better nutrient uptake, there's more points of absorption, and then better drought tolerance as well. Obviously there's more spots where it can mine water out of the root zone, so there's more opportunities there where it can better uptake the water, which would equate to a lower water use or lower water needs uh, above the ground to get down into the soil. Humic applications, this is what surprised us was because we had a more active microbial population, there was more turnover of soil available nitrogen for the plant to take up. And so it did a better job of releasing that nitrogen. So we were actually able to reduce by 25% our nitrogen needs. And that's a big deal. The cost of fertilizer is going up. And so we're gonna have to do something to try to help offset that in the budget line. And so when we applied the Humix, we saw that we were able to reduce the nitrogen input by 25% and still have the same turf grass quality as the full rate of nitrogen. We're already so low on nitrogen use rates on putting greens that the addition of Humix could really benefit there. Um, that's going to allow us to keep a drier green, which is going to increase green speeds for those superintendents that need to really watch for green speeds. But it's also going to you know, allow us to use less water on the surface, and that's going to reduce disease pressure as well. You could increase it on your tees and potentially your fairways as well. Those are both areas where I think Humix can be a huge addition for you. Again, those are your highest maintenance areas. If you can afford to do from your tees all the way to your green with Humix, I think you're going to see some real benefits there. Another use of Humix on fairways or benefit that I would see uh, stress tolerance, right? Everybody has a lot of cart traffic, a lot of divots. That's going to recover quicker because it's going to be a healthier plant. It's going to pull up those nutrients. Tea boxes, you know, are going to see a little bit different um, use. There's a lot more divots and chunks taken out of it. And so a more branch root system is also going to be a stronger root system. And so you're going to probably see a smaller divot taken from each golfer uh, because it's going to be a stronger turf that's going to be there. And then you should have quicker recovery as well. We saw you know, anywhere from 20 to 50% through our various studies. But when we compared it to something that lacks phosphorus, that's where we saw the biggest increase of up to 50%. And that's a big deal because some states have banned phosphorus applications to turf grass. And we see limitations coming with concerns over water quality. So, because it's also expanding a lot of energy below ground and some lateral growth, there's less vertical growth. And so that's why they're saying that they're probably experiencing less mowing. They're you know, doing less vertical removal of the plant because it's expanding energy down below the surface. You don't have to mow as often, which is a huge savings, both from your mechanic standpoint, from reels and bed knives, but also for the hours of somebody out there on the mower physically mowing. The other big deal is, you know, if you can reduce the amount of clippings, then you don't have, you know, clipping piles left on fairways. If we can lower the amount of water or the frequency of watering that we're doing, obviously we can keep a drier surface, which is where a lot of disease thrives. We have a less um, supple plant there, less new growth that's more attractive to a lot of the diseases and so it kind of hardens it off a little bit, makes it more resistant to the diseases and so that's you know something that I think is a mechanism there where we're, why we're seeing some of the humics perhaps promote more disease resistance.
The two biggest things I think in my mind to improve the sustainability uh, is the fact that one, in the absence of phosphorus, which we're going to see, it increases the rooting and the other big one is to reduce nitrogen. And now this research is showing that with the addition of humix, we can cut it another 25%. That's, that's a big deal. And that's going to improve sustainability for sure. And then more branching, we're seeing you know, better water uptake. So again, less water needs as well. So we've got you know, vast differences here, obvious to the eye in the top growth here in the tube. So in, in this one in my left hand here is our, our humic treated uh, product. And we see a lot more above ground bent grass growth here. Uh, we've got a denser turf here. We've got um, more mature leaves as far as that goes. In my right hand, this bent grass was established at the same time, same seeding rate everything and we can see that you know it's just not nearly as dense it's not as actively growing humic treated product in my left hand be a playable surface much quicker than the one in my right hand the really interesting thing is what happens below ground we can start to see when we talk about humix and more densely branched we see much more rooting activity up through here there's a lot more white roots as far as that goes so that's young healthy roots coming down the side we see a thick channel of roots coming right down here, all the way down.